Hi guys, I'm Mar, and today we have ourselves a feast. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this video my entire life. So for this video, we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna eat. We got a lot of food, and this is my favorite food. Right now, I feel like I'm living out my eight-year-old dream. When I was eight, I would always get the six-piece chicken nuggets, and I would get an extra six pieces on the side because that's just how I lived my life. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, I'm gonna be doing kind of like this mukbang Q and A thing. I asked you guys to ask me questions. And yeah, we have some of the questions right here. I'm probably gonna be talking with my mouth full a lot. But it's okay, we're amongst friends. Mm, it was just so good. And guys, don't worry. None of this food will be going to waste. I'm planning on eating a lot of it, even if I don't eat all of it on camera. Don't worry. It will be eaten, and not by me, by someone. Don't worry. There's no way we're letting McDonald's go to waste. Mm -mm. I got Diet Coke, Sprite, and Fanta. I feel like Fanta is about to do the trick. It kind of goes with my dress, so. Mm. Also, McDonald's Coke, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I feel like it's delicious. Mm. Oh. Let me start with the questions. So Megan says, how long do you plan to do the hack videos before doing something different? <laughs> and also, since your wedding day was a disaster, do you ever plan on doing a redo wedding? Girl, mm, do you know how much weddings are? No, I'm fine with my little wedding. Mm -mm. I don't really see a redo wedding in my future. I could probably buy a house with how much wedding costs. Mm, I don't see the point in that. And as far as the hacks go, honey, I'm just the queen of riding that trend wagon until the wheels fall off. And honestly, I just enjoy exposing stores and people. I feel as long as you guys want to see it, I'll probably keep on doing it because I really enjoy it. And I feel like I learned so much. I got a hack for everything now. This next person got a whole lot of questions. I'm gonna answer some. What are your pet peeves? I would probably say Dunkin' Donuts, not giving you a donut, even after you fill out the survey. Are you really gonna pay people's bills? I already did. I posted the receipts and everything. Cause you know nowadays, if you don't got a receipt, it's like it didn't happen. Mm. And that was all about my Instagram. And if you didn't see it, it's cause you don't follow me on Instagram and you're missing out. So go follow me there. Mm. Who's your favorite YouTuber? As the Sniper Wolf, of course. Kaylin asks, can and will you start doing vlogs? I don't know. I feel like my life is just not that interesting. You know? I mean, this is really the highlight of my month. Is YouTube your only job? Pretty much, unless you count not getting free Dunkin' Donuts donuts as a job. Mm. I don't like the pickle. No, pickles, you're out. K-pop says, I never knew you were a biologist. <laughs> If you weren't a YouTuber, where do you think you'd be right now? Honestly, I don't know where I would be, but I would like to think I would be on some tropical island with my sugar daddy, just living my best life. Top three favorite places to eat. I would say Cheesecake Factory, my favorite restaurant ever, McDonald's for sure, and not Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, that was shade right there. All the shade to you, Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh, Seeking Happy says, what's your diet slash fitness regimen? <laughs> I love how she's asking this as I'm eating all of this. You always look amazing, but I see you eating real food. Yes, girl, I mean, you have to. Hmm. I can't be one of those persons that's like, I'll take a lettuce with a cucumber. I mean, no, what's the point of living? Think about it, we're basically alive just to eat, so might as well enjoy that. Hmm. I thought I was a pickle, I was like, mm. But I would say my diet is basically just not eating free Dunkin' Donuts. Rachel says, can I marry both you and Gordo? You have a living dog walker for burrito. Yes, girl. You can have a ceremony just like Tiger King. Hmm. What influences your sense of style? P.S. I love you. I love you too. I love you just as much as I love these chicken nuggets. It's a lot. I really love chicken nuggets. I don't, mm, I feel like just what black leggings are dirty that day. I'm always wearing the same thing. But thank you if you think I'm fashionable. You definitely look at me with love. Mm, mm, mm. My hands are so greasy. It's gross, but delicious at the same time. I literally have pieces of salt stuck to my fingers. This question is so funny. Do you believe we landed on the moon? Will you buy a Tesla? Of course. Of course I will buy a Tesla. I mean, would I even be a YouTuber if I didn't have a Tesla? But actually, no, probably not. I don't think I will buy a Tesla. Gotta save your coins. I always tell you this. That letters was Gordo being angry and never getting a Tesla. Donut, I love that name. Says, how do you overcome being awkward? Well, thank you for calling me awkward. I mean, I try to hide it, but clearly that's not working. Honestly, you're really not wrong. And I wouldn't know what to tell you. I wouldn't know how to overcome it because I'm clearly still awkward. I mean, I'm sitting here eating all this food, talking to myself. Do I sound like a not awkward person? Where did you live when you were little? And was it a good place to live? Well, I grew up in Caracas, Venezuela, AKA murder capital of the world. Not kidding, look it up. Great place to live, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Claire Fee asks, have you ever had a moment in life where you felt like life was hopeless, but you overcame it? What helped you overcome it? Sorry if this is too personal. That's not personal at all. I mean, I was born in Venezuela. My whole life has just been basically hopelessness and misery and despair. 
Oh, yeah. I just eat a lot of chicken nuggets and burgers and that's how I overcome it. I kind of feel I got way too honest on that answer. Let me just keep stuff in my face with some fries. You know what? Let's try some barbecue sauce because I always just have sweet and sour. I feel like I haven't had barbecue sauce in forever. Mm, so good. Mm, gotta switch it up. Stara says, my question, I always ask this. What's your opinion on LGBTQ plus community? I'm a new fan. Well, welcome girl. I mean, I'm 100% pro LGBTQ plus community. I feel like nobody should tell anyone what to do with their life. And it's just annoying and upsetting that people still feel like it's their right to tell anyone who they can love or who they can be with or what they can do. It's just insane. And honestly, most of my friends are part of this community. So to me, it's just very personal. And if you want to get me mad and very angry about something, probably offending this community is the easiest way to do it. Mm, I'm just gonna go back to sweet and sour. But see, nobody can tell me. If I want my barbecue, I can have my barbecue. How embarrassed are you when you do the exposing videos? <laughs> so embarrassed. My anxiety is just too much. It's bad. You would think I would have gotten better at this point, but I haven't. It's a lot. I'm a person that really doesn't like to leave my house at all. Living my best quarantine life right now. So it's a lot. But I feel like I learned, which is good. Have you turned into a coffee lover because of the Starbucks videos? No. Never. No. Coffee? Not for me. I even drank the entire Starbucks menu. It happens, I will leave a video for you. Coffee is just not my thing. Not my jam. I smell it and I'm like, sorry to my coffee lovers out there. But you know, more coffee for you. So nothing to complain about, really. Mm. How do you come up with ideas? Mm. I'm assuming this is video ideas and I don't know. I always have the weirdest video ideas and I can't really do the weird ideas because I feel like most people don't want to watch my crazy weird ideas, but I just really like it. I just like making videos. It's what I've done for a really long time. It's what I like to do and hopefully I can keep doing it because I'm pretty sure I'm past my sugar daddy prime. I think I'm too old to get one now. So maybe a salt daddy, who knows? What's the easiest way to grow a channel? I would say get yourself about 12 Big Macs, 120 chicken nuggets. You should be good. Your channel will grow. Honestly, I don't know girl. You tell me. I just figured this would be a good idea to eat all my feelings It's working so far out of all the videos you've made which one was the most difficult and or most embarrassed. Oh oh Oh, I feel like definitely something with Gucci. I'm just trying to decide because we have so many things to pick from. Was it the time they called security? Was it the time they kicked me out for just browsing? Was it the time they started stalking me in the store? So many options. Hmm, it's really hard to say, but they just make life so uncomfortable and miserable. I'm sorry, Gucci. You're right up there with Dunkin' Donuts. What would you do if you were still in Venezuela? Probably cry, but also eat some delicious food. So, you know, there's a balance. Maybe cry while eating, which I've done a lot of. And finally, how old is Burrito? And are you planning on having more dogs or a different pet? So Burrito is two and a half, and he's the best, the best. The best. He's actually my first dog. I had never had a dog ever before Burrito and I got so lucky because he was definitely worth the wait. But I do think we'll get a little friend for Burrito at some point. It's just a big responsibility. It's so difficult. I mean, having dogs is a lot. I feel if you get a dog, you need to know that you have to take care of them and love them and take them to the vet and do all this stuff for them. Not just like have them there laying around and not care about them, you know? So I wanna do it when I know I have the time that I put in and love my dog and just be like a good dog mom. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am gonna go and really nowhere. I'm just gonna keep eating. <laughs> but if you wanna see more videos of eating with Mar, I actually have some videos eating on this channel. I will leave links for. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.